Hey, how are you? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Well, I, I'm doing well today. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, Rolo. Yeah, yeah. A little cold? Mm, no, no, no. Well, but yeah, a little cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there because, you. Uh, uh, during the the morning, yeah, I was raining. It was raining. Yes, and the, uh, in in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. like my in my house too. It was raining in the morning. Mm -hmm. mm. But then, like at maybe I don't know, maybe twelve o'clock, one o'clock, something like this, it stopped raining. Uh, again? Ah, it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. Oh, yeah. And then. Yeah. All day you stopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar. Yes. Good, good. How about you, Jose? How was your day? I'm fine, thank you. Um, today I was free and and I was just helping at my home and I try tomorrow maybe will um put my my Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a lot of work to put your Christmas tree. Yes. But I, I really I really enjoy to do that. Okay. Uh, I always think it's so much work to put the Christmas tree and the decorations and everything and I uh, know. <laughs> like a Grinch. Yeah, more like a Grinch. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not proud of Okay. All right. So today we're going to continue. Um, yesterday we, we were looking at a couple of important details. Um, specifically, uh, we, we had been looking at the past simple and the past continuous. And we had tried to do a little bit of it, um, creating our own stories, okay? Uh, what we want is to make sure that we understand the difference, okay? What's the big difference between the past continuous and the simple? It, really, the main focus is just on the action, if it's in the middle of your story or not. So if you are doing something, um, for example, we say the the girl who's, who went to her grandmother's, right? Um, and there was a wolf. Do you know the story? There's, it's called The Little Red Riding Hood, but it's a girl who was walking in the forest and she was going to her grandmother's house and she met a wolf. That's how we use it. Because we're talking, even if the story's in the past, we're talking about the activities that are happening and the others that are happening. The ones that start first are the ING. The girl was walking in the forest. The other activity that happened is she met a wolf. Okay. These are kind of the things that we want to take a look at. And the important about those is just making sure that we're clear when it's one is correct or the other one. Because yesterday we used our stories and almost all the stories were just a simple past. Just I saw, I went, I had. But we need to make sure that we mix in the past continuous. We mix in all of these activities that were going on. And that's how you do it. So to make it easier, uh, we're going to try a fable. A fable is a story that is very common that we know uh, you don't have to create it. You and your partner only have to think about how to tell it. This can be, uh, you know, uh, the, the girl with the golden hair, Goldilocks and the three bears. It can be Snow White. It can be Cinderella. It can be, you know, uh, La Ciguanaba, it can be a Cipitillo. It doesn't matter what story you want to tell. But the good thing about the stories is that it's not only in one tense. It has to use different tenses to tell the story. So you have to use the past tense. You have to use the past continuous. You have to use these different things in order to make sure that the story is correct. Okay? So like La Ciguanaba, right? La Ciguanaba. Well, who sees La Ciguanaba? When does the Ciguanaba come out for people? Okay. 
la ciguanaba is for what? It's for women, for men, it's for boys. What happens? Romulo? It's for, for men. For men. And what do the men do that appear the ciguanaba? Maybe, uh, I think uh, uh, the story is uh, the, the men uh, lost control or, 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 or it'll be crazy, right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your story. You create it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And when do the men see La Ciguanaba? When do they see her? Uh, when the men uh, was uh, in a river or, or or fishing, I don't know, at the middle of the night. Okay, so usually I say, well, now is at the middle of the night. And okay, that's the idea. So when we're going to tell the story is exactly like Ramono said, it was the middle of the night and the man was fishing. Okay. Not the man fished. Why not the man fished? Here's the difference. The two are correct grammatically, but is not correct for the story. When you say the man fished, that means the man finished. He fished before midnight. When you say the man was fishing at midnight is at this time, the man is not finished. And that's going to be the difference. And that's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on using these different tenses, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment with our partners. We're going to choose one story that we know, and together we're going to think about how do we say it? How do we use, what words do we need to use? Our vocabulary, our grammar, our forms, our intonation, okay? Each group is going to have 15 minutes. One, five. One, five. 15 minutes and in 15 minutes you are going to have to present okay we're going to try it again and this is just to help us to make sure before we continue with our listening to make sure that we are doing okay with this are there any questions no all right let's do it let's make our stories then Teacher, I think I had a problem because the me the message disappeared. Okay, okay. Let me try one no, more. Pro oh, thank you. Wait, wait, no, thank no, you. no. Wait, 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 wait. Here, I okay. there. Thank you. You're welcome. This morning. Story. Teacher. Yes, Patricia. Uh, the activity is creating a history. No, Patricia. Only tell a story. You and Rocio are going to tell a story. You decide what story you want to tell. You can tell Cinderella. You can tell Snow White. You can tell uh, the Three Pigs. Whatever story you want to tell. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I don't know if you want to, to create another one, you tell me. Okay. Uh, Kevin, uh, do you have <laughs> any recommendation or? Hello? 
do, do, do you have uh, any advice for the topic? Or? Uh, I was thinking about the Cadejo. Ah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a little easy, I think. Okay. Uh, what What is the... It's, uh, about uh, a story? Um, really, I, I heard uh, uh, about the... The CPT or the Siguanapa, Tabu, yes. Tabu, my family, Carreta Chico. My family is from, is from Nahuizalco, Sonsonate. And they, uh, they, ah. they really talk a lot about wishes. Wishes? Ah, oh, yes, yeah. in Isalco <laughs> too. It's and they, wishing they to believe. It. They believe a lot in English and the stuff that that kind of person or people do. Yeah, right? it's very and interesting that 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 kind of this history. Okay, yeah. that's nice. It's all good. Okay, <laughs> let's start it. Let's go, go out. Uh, the history uh, in theory or imagine the touch the door. And and then I don't know. I okay. I heard the Carreta Chiona. Um, walk in, walk in back, or something like that. What about if we try with another story? <laughs> <laughs> to, to tell you, okay. Yeah, I, I'm writing. Okay, T tell. Was walking to the okay. forest. In the forest. In the forest, okay. In the forest at midnight. At midnight. When. How do you say de repente? Suddenly. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. When suddenly. Whatever you want. Mm, you guys are very creative, very fast. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Wow. <laughs> okay, which is from Nawisal. Hi, excuse me. <laughs> Good test. Okay, okay. I'm looking for um I imagine the internet to to put, to put in to put in the in our in our presentations. Can you write traductor? Ah, oh, <laughs> me asustó. The names are only, only in Spanish, like as in cabezas or something like that. Because um, I'm not, I'm not national, but another ones I don't know. Maybe. Like the story about Sleepy Hollow. Um, let me see. No, I don't know. <laughs> the Walking Dead is one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just a 
them. Just them. Because I don't remember. Maybe I know some of them, but at this moment I don't remember the name of one of them. Okay. We are the same. So El I think we continue. Which one? Uh, let's let's try to imagine all in a new story because I don't remember. So I remember the movie mm. Vampire, for example. Oh, uh, yes, like Twilight movies also. Okay, teacher. How many mm -hmm. sentences do we need? And you, whatever you want, it's just you telling the story. So whatever sentences you feel are necessary. Okay. Remember, it's just, it's the idea is just telling the story, yeah. be able to tell a story. Okay, now I understand because I was okay. late. <laughs> I <don't know> if <laughs> <you understand laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know. The, I, I thought that the, the point of the of this, uh, I don't know, dynamic was mm -hmm. just tell if you know a story, but <laughs> I didn't know that count in the story. Okay, um, let me see. It's like the exercise that we did yesterday. Right, but but today you're you're going to be just doing the story for uh, a tale. For example, you know, um, La Ciguanaba, El Cicutillo, the Snow White, Cinderella. It's just being okay. able, just trying to practice the fluency and being able to tell the story. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Good, good. Uh, let me see. It. Like uh, once upon a time, there was a woman that she had a um, a child that burned weird <laughs> with the feet. Um, I, I don't remember the story of this one now. How <laughs> 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 easy. Let me, let me remember. Remember, so go ahead, go ahead. You talk with your partners. Everybody work together. And she looked back. The dog disappeared. Yes. And finish. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. That practice it, practice mm -hmm. saying yes. it. Mm -hmm. Practice right now. That way you decide. Because everybody's going to participate. So practice how you're going to divide the story, who's going to say what, like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who wants to start? Or maybe you you start. Okay. It's correct. Say teacher, tell the story. Yes, it is correct. Okay. Tell the story when Miss uh, Gladys was walking in the forest at midnight. At midnight. At mid. At middle of the uh, at the night. Okay. Continue. Okay. <laughs> when, when? When suddenly. suddenly yeah. Uh huh. Continue. You, Kevin. No, you. Okay. When suddenly a big doll appeared and Miss Gladys is scared because the black doll started to follow her. And 
Then she saw that the dog, the dog's eyes were red, like a fire. Yeah, and, and she, she, okay, and she and was she thinking was if she started running or screaming for help. When she looked back, the dog disappeared, finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the idea. That's the idea. The important is you have it. Okay. Teacher, but we can say the dog at the end of the story we can say the dog disappeared or the dog disappeared with D. With D, the dog disappeared. And disappeared Rom at the end. D. Right, right, right. And at the beginning, Romulo. Uh, is not tell the story is you have to say I'm going to tell the story or we're going to tell the story mm -hmm. yes Romulo you're on mute you're on mute yeah we are going to tell the story correct we are we are going to tell the story okay for example we are going to tell the story of La Ciguanaba about the Cadejo, okay. Or uh, Cadejo, yes, sorry, Cadejo, the, the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me check in the other groups and we almost begin, okay. Okay. All right. To get better, right? Yeah. Okay. But only, yeah, only, that's good. only two more minutes, guys, only two more minutes. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay. We got it. All right, good, good. Uh, uh, a pretty woman, when they go close to the, that pretty woman, she turns up in another person, like like a monster, like uh, an ugly woman. Uh, and then she, mm, I don't know, make like makes like magic, or I don't know, something something weird. That for that reason, they feel really weird when they uh, wake up. All right, I see we're coming back. The other groups are just finishing up. Just one moment, we're just waiting on the last group. They only have four seconds. Three, two, one, ha! By obligation, they come or they come. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Great job. I heard some of you uh, very uh, at the beginning trying to decide what story, what story, what story, and then finally <laughs> you came up with the idea. So it's good. Um, do we have any volunteers? Any group that would like to go first? Okay, Romulo, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we are going to tell uh, about the Cadejo. The Cadejo is uh, lay, like a legend in, in El Salvador, right? Or and the story is about the uh, uh, Miss Gladys was walking in the forest at the midnight, middle of the night, when suddenly appeared a black dog. Continue, Miss Gladys. Continue. <laughs> 
And, and Gladys is scared because a black dog started to follow her. And she saw that the dog's eyes were red, just like fire. And she was thinking if she started running or screamed for help. When she looked back, the dog was disappeared. Finish. Okay, very good job. Good job, guys. I like that you used, now you definitely use uh, the mixture, a past continuous, simple past, was thinking, was walking, was, you know, a, uh, she saw a dog, turned around. That's great. That's the idea. The idea is to naturally start to use it. And you see the effect. There's a difference between the past continuous and the simple past. So good job. All right, who's the uh, next volunteer? <clears throat> Jose, Rocio, David, Omid. What happened? No volunteers? If, if you want, maybe Omi and I can can okay can talk about our story. No problem. Hey, Omi and I. Okay. We are was talking about uh, history of wishes in San Sonate. I have family from Nozarco, and and we talk about about that. <laughs> and that kind of stories are from Isalco and Nozarco. And there was a lot of, of, of kind of magic, black magic, and both potions and kind of spells that the wishes. Uh, did for make a bad uh, position, a bad uh, kind of stuff to others. And uh, well, in, in the beginning, the people believed that woman can use black magic, potions, and something strange in their house to spell a bad time. For that reason, the people attack this kind of woman. And the people really hate for, or just because uh, the wishes did uh, bad things. And that's our story. Thank you very much. Very good, very good, Jose and um, Nomi. The question, what what do they say that the witches did? Do you rem in Because you are from this area, right? From Nahuizalco? Yes, my family, my family is. But they, are, they were talking a lot of, of um, they, the, the witches just elves and um, put all on the face of the other person to to try to 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 find um about a spell in on into the other and sometimes the, the, when you uh, you just talk with with them um this kind of, of, of person that visit that kind of wishes uh, have midnight and a bad time uh, for from this from this occasion. Okay, thank you very much, Jose. Thank you very much. Interesting, something uh, very typical of El Salvador. Okay, <laughs> all right, Rocio, you ready? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I will try. <laughs> okay. Um, our, our story is about the Siwanawa. The Siwanawa was a beautiful woman and his original name was Siwawet. And she has a baby, but she left him on the river alone and she was following men to fall in love while Trollok saw her and he become to the Cipitio in an eternal youth. So she never found his, his son. That's why she lives around the river, lives around the river. And all people that, especially men, men that walk around uh, rivers and lakes at night may find her or saw her. And at the, uh, at, at the beginning, she looks so beautiful and men makes um and men make uh goes crazy go crazy but then uh she become so horrible like a monster and people uh men had a, a mental problem after that and they suffered so hard fevers um there is no solution or, or medicine for, for that <laughs> that's all teacher okay very good thank you rocio and, and who was your partner david yes and patricia yeah, yeah me and patricia okay um okay basically the thing that we have i can tell you that uh, she usually goes just for men that supposedly they are like um, unfaithful, I think, and appears uh, re regularly in unavailable places like uh, forests, rivers, in Rio Lempo, something, something like that. <laughs> um, She's like a beautiful woman. Um, basically, she is condemned to, to be like a phantom. I'm not sure if she a phantom or something like that, but the thing is that it, she's like an inspector that is in that kind of places waiting for the, the people, well, for men that are bad. And when they go close to her, basically as Rocio uh, told us, um uh, she becomes an ugly person or an ugly monster or something like that and she makes go crazy the 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 men because supposedly they have like psychological problem when they have a, a an encounter with her and just that i think i don't remember a lot of that story <laughs> Okay, no problem, no problem. Good job, good job, guys. So that's the idea. The idea is we're trying to find natural ways to use these different tenses. Patricia, did you want to say something? Uh, no, teacher. She she was in the place near rivers, and I have a question. Is correct to say uh, she liked to play? for men or uh, it's not for it's with she likes to with. play with with men mm -hmm. with men mm -hmm. that is correct yes. okay thanks you're welcome all right uh, i think she's trying to to know if is it correct say let's see whenever los jugaba because we don't know how to say that Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Uh, she liked. She played with men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, well, in this case, los jugaba the, the the los hombres, right? Yes. 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 Uh huh. 
is the same. Um, it's the same for a man towards a woman. Like today they say, oh, Jose plays with women. And we understand Jose has many women. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, Jose, don't smile then. Okay. <laughs> Womanizer. <laughs> uh huh. That there you go. You see. Uh huh. So, good job. That's the idea. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue. Um, the next one is a little bit about just listening and taking notes and being able to tell your partners what you understand. We're going to listen to a news broadcast, and all we have to do is from the news broadcast just listen. What are they talking about? And then tell tell the partners. Okay. So we're going to listen. What is the topic? What are they talking about? And then just tell in your own words what you understand. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place? When did it happen? And what actually happened? So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. One more time, or is that okay? One more time, teacher. One more, one more okay. time. All right. Like we say, remember to pay attention, take notes, and they tell you the instructions at the beginning where, what, and the results, right? So, here we go. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early 
Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Is that okay or is necessary one more? Okay. I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I cleared. No, I cleared the 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 story um, two and three, but the the first I had that some dub. I, I for example the actual it happened in the in the the first story, but uh, the rest I I understand. I understand. Okay. Okay. Great. So in our partners, in our groups, we're gonna go ahead. And we're going to decide with our partners what happened, okay? What is the story? So uh, remember, we had the three questions. Uh, yeah. Where, um, when, and when what happened. Happen? Exactly. What happened? Yeah. All right. So let's try. Yeah. And that's the idea with a partner to talk. I didn't understand number one. I understood number two. What, what did you understand? And complete. Rocio, you okay? Hold me. Hello, Tiffany. Hey, Omi, I didn't see you many days last week. Yes, that's good to share. You're right. <laughs> the last week is very intensive in my work for many activities in there. I'm glad this week you can come. It's good to have you, Omi. Yeah. I'm glad to see you, teacher, again, too. Okay, good. Here's your partner, Rocio. She was just taking, it took a little bit to come in. I'll let you guys go ahead. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The snake. Okay. But I'm not sure I died, oh my God. Why? Let me see. Um, Yes, I don't remember that actually happened. Do you do you do you, do you say uh, that uh, the men cow the couch the or the, the snake? Took up, took up the snake. Okay. Mm. I just remember. I'm not sure. Cause I hear it there are a loud and I couldn't hear it really good. But the thing that I could hear. In the video that was that yes I, I i i i couldn't understand the the actually happened with the snake <laughs> but and the second story uh the uh, the place the, you know was Australia. in australia yeah two teenagers teen disappear right yeah in, in a ship they went to visit a friend in a ship right uh -huh. they they go to when the, when and they wake up yeah the day when they wake up they were in in another country but Sing I don't remember. singapore singapore, singapore uh, uh, yeah. yeah singapore singapore i think always in, in australia and they um i don't know uh, they, go up of the of the ship and they go to the nearest town yes uh, but I don't know the guy, uh, a snake. Just in, in the in the in the audio, you can hear about the the all all the news in the in in that in that moment, right? And the first one, the the the, the girl 
talk about a snake, I think. And then they are talking about the other's news. But in the in the middle or the begin or the or the end of the of the audio, I can hear about two girls that they are lost, I, I think. Yes. That sounds good. Yes. And that's why I, I am busy too on weekends. Yeah, because uh, everybody asks for those kind of food on the weekend, right? Yeah. I think you sell more on the weekend than the all the week. Yes. We just post like um, Thursday that we, we are going to have hamburgers and people start um, asking. Yes, and we just sell them on, on Saturday. Yeah, that's, I love hamburgers. Yeah, they are really good. <laughs> the chipotle ones are the best. Yeah. And guacamole, if you, if you really like a spicy food. Oh, yeah. But I don't like avocado <laughs> too much. Ah, that's it. And they wake up, and yes, of course, I'm with you. Um, the girls up or the sheet appeared in another in another place. Yeah, of course, that's right. Okay. Um, yes, when I heard uh, a Kevin Australia, mm -hmm. Australia. Okay. And the third one uh, happened in California. Yeah, in California, we're chasing a, a two men, uh, one man, no, mm, chasing one man, so two men, I don't know. I don't remember uh, if that's correct. Um, and the, the police officers uh, uh. take uh, an accident in the, in the highway. I think. I, I, yes. I, yeah, of course. Okay, mom. Okay, guys, so we're looking at it. I, I hear most of you got the, got the ideas correct, so let's check to make sure your listening was good. What was number one? What was story number one? Thailand. Thailand. They, in Thailand, that's right. It Thailand. Was, it was in Thailand, and what happened in Thailand? When the man uh, was walking, appeared a snake, right? Mm -hmm. And what did the man do? He put the, the snake, he put the snake the around his neck. neck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he makes a scarf. Yeah, he, he saw the snake. He said, oh, anaconda, okay. And put the snake around his neck. Mm -hmm. And then what yeah. happened? The snake squeezed the man. He was almost strangled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The snake squeezed the man and almost strangled the man. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, this is the, the, the problem with the intelligence sometimes. The people don't understand. All right. Good. Excellent. Excellent understanding. What about number two? What was number two? Australia. Okay, excellent. That was in Australia. That's right. And what happened in Australia? The teenager disappeared. How many, Romulo? Two. Two, correct. Two. Okay, two teenagers disappeared. Okay. 
And what happened with those two teenagers? I think they fell asleep and they just realized that they were going to Singapore. Uh-huh, that's right. They realized they were going to Singapore and they were on a boat. Imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were on a boat and they say, oh, we're going to Singapore. Oh, <gasps> the other people. It's like the people that fall asleep and then they wake up in a popa. Huh? What happened? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good. And what was story number three? California. California, that's right. And what happened in California? Uh, police officers was in a persecution. Then they fall into the river. And after that, the thief saved the police officers. <laughs> Imagine the criminal had to save the police. The police, <laughs> they, they fell into the river. That's right. That's right. Very good. All right. Great ideas. So we're getting good. We have all our, it seems to be pretty good with our ideas between the past simple and the past continuous, which is great because now we're going to continue into one more type of past. And that's the past perfect. Okay, so when we talk about the past perfect, it's a little bit different than the past simple and the past continuous. Here, we can see in our little chart, in our image, the past perfect is talking about a different event. So here we have the X is the past, but the past perfect is something that happened before that action in the past. Okay. So here we have the X, I was working out, okay? This is the past event, I was working out. And I had put my stuff in my locker. This I had is the, cir the blue here, the blue circle. This happened before the X, okay? So the same here. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. Here I came back. But someone had stolen my wallet is here. Someone stole the wallet before I had come back. Okay. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. So here, okay, they stole it, the X. Why? Because before they stole it, I had forgotten to lock the locker. So what is the function? Well, the function is similar to the others. Uh, the symbol is to talk about the actions that are complete. The continuous are the actions that are incomplete. And the perfect, the actions that happen before the other actions in the past tense. Okay. We're going to just watch a part of the video so we have an idea. Okay. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past and it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea it will outline what I'm trying to express I went to a party last week this is what took place last weekend so that is that X if you will so what is he trying to say he's trying to say is that this action 
I went to the party last weekend is the X, okay? Um, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Well, this second action is not second. It's actually the first action because the friends ate the food here in this blue a circle with the red line. They ate the food before you arrived at the party, before you went to the party, okay? Now, this topic maybe seems a little confusing, but it's us to give us an idea of what it is. The function is to talk about an action that happened before the other action, or before the other action, I think for you, like that, okay? So in this moment, it's 10 o'clock, okay? What happened before the English class? Ah, I had eaten lunch. This eat lunch happens before the class. That's to help us. So we use had to help us understand the order so we don't get confused because the two actions are in the past, but one action happened before the other. For that, we're going to use the past perfect. Don't worry, tomorrow we're going to see more and practice more this specific topic, and that way we can understand all of the past tense, all three that we've seen, the simple, the continuous, and the perfect. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Have okay. a great night. Continue working in the platform, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.